here's the other thing that I uh, recently learned Damn. about. Um, job keeper, right? Job keeper, all the money that um, companies were getting for a uh, job keeper. So usually what, what, what happened was during the first few weeks of uh, this crisis, a lot of companies genuinely didn't know how they were going to pay a lot of these employees. So hence they started getting job seeker. Job seeker was a six month deal that initially a six month deal that they were going to get, which was if you qualify for it initially, then just for six months, every employee of yours, you're going to get $750, not the employees, the business is going to get $750. What ended up happening was within a few weeks, all of these businesses became profitable again. So what they so they could afford the salaries, but they obviously kept getting their money for six months and for some businesses a year. They used all of that money to buy back their own shares. Mm, mm. And so you're when, talking about big corporations. I'm talking about here. big corporations. Yeah. So the share market went berserk mm. in a time when we were in a pandemic, mm, flooded wow. by taxpayer <laughs> money, which which does increase inflation, but the inflation will only matter to the little person that got their initial salary because their value of money is going to be less. You know, All they of think these that up to 8% of small businesses will be destroyed as a result of JobKeeper. So much really? for the party of small business. That was by design. I was looking at the big picture. I've got a big video coming out about COVID. It is very cleverly entitled, COVID. They COVID. were talking about uh, the, the, a huge portion of it is unpacking what you're discussing here. And if you look at the wider context of what was happening there, they had the recipe of Rudd. They could have handled COVID exactly the same way that Kevin Rudd handled the global financial crisis. In fact, if you look at the stats now, there's a bunch of European nations, New Zealand, most developed countries just copied what Kevin Rudd did in the global financial crisis. And as a result... They have much stronger economies. You saw bounce backs that were insane. You saw countries that would plunge maybe 11% in GDP in one quarter, and then the next quarter they jumped back by 15%. So there was no recession there. Australia is having one of the worst recessions it's ever had, clearly by design, because the Liberals intentionally put in job keepers. So they, the, the party that loves to cut red tape created the biggest nexus of government slash corporate bureaucracy in Australian history by giving this money out to employers that they will dole out to their employees, but also with the guys that it's going to take a month for all of these things to be determined and cleared when you could have just pumped it straight into everybody's wallets and, and, and a, a lot less as well. And mm. it would have been much better for the economy because that's exactly what you need in a credit crunch. You need so lots of money pumped in really quickly from people that need to spend it. Yeah, You do not give this money out to corporations that can cushion the fall. And then all the small businesses, businesses they, they couldn't keep them. afloat for a month mm. paying their oh. employers. So a lot of them went belly up. Why did right. they want them to go belly up? Because the larger corporations that inhabit Whoa. that sector... Jesus. My bad. Now that was a classic mislove moment mixed with a classic Ali yeah. moment. And that what do you, you get? banging on Brilliant the bloody table, mate. Wait, well, why is this my <laughs> one? But mixed with, yeah, classic Geordies. Yeah. Smashing on, keep going, keep going. But keep going, sorry, yeah. Yeah, that's a fine moment of history right there. <laughs> um, mm. but, you, but you know what, in hindsight, in hindsight, I'm going to admit this, that I did not have the foresight at the time, but in hindsight, I 100% agree with you. One of the well, I didn't, it's, this is the whole yeah. thing. When you go back and look at this all, everything that they constructed, both with uh, the Reserve Bank and with their own fiscal policies, which... Everybody always says, yeah, but they're different. Yeah, like the ABC is independent, as is the Reserve Bank. Mm. The governor is appointed by the treasurer. Who's the treasurer? You know, but what, was the, what were they doing? They were allowing banks credit 8% of the GDP. So they just invented 8% of money to give out to banks, and they basically job-keepered that 8% of GDP to the major banks, these ones that they said that they punish <laughs> after the Banking Royal Commission. Their punishment was to give them unlimited money and to do whatever they want with it, what do you think banks want to do with it? They want to give it out to major corporations because they know major corporations will be able to pay it back, and this was very, very cheap credit. So major corporations thought, okay, our entire... The, uh, the smaller businesses that we were competing with are completely crippled. They are those cockroaches in Miss Love's house. That was Scott Morrison's economic 
act in a nutshell. It was just <laughs> sprinkling bagorn amongst the small business cockroaches. <laughs> and that allowed the giants to just sit there and go, okay, well, we have total market dominance in this situation. We have no competition. We have unlimited cheap credit. Uh, the taxpayer is paying for our most e- largest expense, which is labor. We are, we are going into debt for generations just so they don't have to pay their employees for a year. Yeah. And then they used all of that, those huge quantities of money to just absolutely ransack anyone that was smaller than them to take to gain even more market dominance. It and was a beautiful, it was that same thing of just, you know, never waste a crisis. Well, the Liberals don't waste a crisis. Mm. It's just that they don't waste a crisis for their donors. So there was no one month waiting for the big, for the big companies. Hmm? No, there was one month waiting oh, for the big companies, it, but they, they can afford, afford that. It, they right. can afford to wait out for not what, only, seventy years. Not only years? can they afford it, but those big companies <laughs> knew that they were going to get those checks eventually because they were the reasons why your people were <laughs> yes. in the first. So they knew yeah. that. Second thing, banks, <laughs> banks with all the big that ass are willing to give trading. them are mm. willing to give big corporations money not because they can pay it back. Often, if you think about big corporations, do you know like Uber has never turned a single uh, dollar of profit but they would get any amount of debt that they want because their debt by Bullshit. banks is seen more. Yeah, never, yeah. They, because they don't want to pay taxes. So they're propped up. So they, they keep, they keep, uh, they keep, um, uh, they keep buying other kind of businesses. They keep fake investing in their businesses so that they can keep their expenses high and never pay tax. So on paper, they've never made a profit, whereas their executives get bonuses that would, you know, dwarf 20 years of your salary in a single right. year. Right. And that and banks keep giving them profit, even though banks know that maybe they might not be able, they might not be even able to pay them back. But it's still considered good lending because they are too big to fail, mm. kind of thing. Yeah, mm. it's like didn't Trump get a similar treatment when he's in his time? He would, he was bank. Well, he went bankrupt, right? And they were just like, yeah, look, you got to. Your voice yeah. sounds funny, so we'll but give you a bankruptcy million. laws in the U.S. are that actually pretty, pretty yeah. cool. Like the U.S. is the best place to be bankrupt. Basically, <laughs> if you go bankrupt, what's that chapter something that they file? You're rewarded. Not only are you rewarded, but like everything prior to that, gone. Yeah, you clean start slate, from free a, man. a clean, clean slate, so all your debts are now gone. As because you filed for bankruptcy, really? that is not the case in Australia. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, right. If I was in America. I would just file for bankruptcy tomorrow and then I wouldn't have to pay back my hex. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you wouldn't. Fuck. I've still got to pay Actually, mine you know back. what's funnily enough? Fuck. Weirdly, student oh, yeah, loans no, are the only right, ones that you still right. have to pay for. What? What? Student loans are the only ones that you still have to pay this for in the ridiculous, US. This is ridiculous. Oh, are you yeah. kidding? Yeah. Insane. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, insane. But the other thing that are we also me? found are out after me? these pen, uh, pandemic job keeper payments is that if you are poor, or if you're not like a rich guy, any money, any stimulus money that you're going to get, you're going to spend into in the economy as soon as yeah, possible. If you're, if you're really rich, if you're a company that keeps receiving $750 times every employee that you have for one year, you are not spending that money in the economy. You are just buying shares. Mm. Yeah. So... I do not underestimate this point of yours of why Kevin Rudd's strategy was way better because that's the only proven way for us to actually stimulate the economy. Yep. Because every time you pay big corporations, yeah. they never do. They yeah. have no incentive to. They already yeah. have a lot of savings. Yeah. It's not they didn't have money. Their entire agenda is that their shareholders stay happy, which means that they need to keep giving them some sort of dividends. So they keep investing whatever amounts of profits they make on the back of their employees for their own share so that, you know, the, the fucking price remains stable. Yep. It's criminal, actually. They you don't hire people, do they? Well, uh, they won't. They, they won't hire people because of any kind of stimulus. If they need yeah. to hire people, they'll hire people. But they're constantly thinking of how to lay off people. The entire yeah. idea is efficiency and reducing amounts of the, it, the number of employees that you have. It's pretty wild. So yeah, I'm basically, it is I can't believe I can't believe I'm saying this, but Jordan, you're right. The pandemic <laughs> economic strategy was a failure. <laughs> <laughs> what a controversial statement on this pod.